What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the worst video games. Let's get right into this. So in the past, I have made videos talking about the best video games. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the worst video games. Now, again, this is in my opinion, so maybe not everybody is going to agree with these, but a lot of these, in my opinion, most people will agree with, but there is a few that some people might give me some hate for actually having me claim them as a terrible game because some people were a fan of them back in the day. But regardless, let's get right into it. The first one here, I'm sure everybody will agree, and that is My Name is Mayo. This game is the worst game in my opinion by far. It is just a terrible concept and all you're literally doing in this game is clicking on a mayo jar. I think you have to click it 10,000 times and you'll unlock the platinum for the game. And it's just a, an extremely stupid concept for a video game. You're just literally smashing the X button for five minutes straight. And it's just terrible, terrible way to get a platinum, just a terrible game in general. And stupidly enough, they did make a second game, My Name is Mayo 2, which is pretty much the same exact concept. So it's extremely frustrating for people whenever people's trophy counts are extremely high because most of the time it's due to games like these, which is why it gets so much hate. The next game is one that I never played until it was free for PS Plus on the PlayStation 4 a few years ago, actually, and that is Conan Exiles. Now, I've honestly never been a fan of Conan, so that is also why it's on this list. But the game itself absolutely sucked. It had terrible mechanics, terrible graphics, and you can actually go in into the settings and kind of as the creator or developer settings and unclick different check marks and you can add different sheets and different things to have basically one hit equals a kill and it was just crazy the amount of stuff you could easily go and platinum the game within half an hour because you can go and spawn different enemies and then just one hit kills them and you'll get the trophy for that and it was just ridiculous the amount of stuff on it it was very glitchy very boring and it just the mechanics and everything about this game absolutely sucks but it, you could go and get a platinum out of it but it was just a game that definitely was not worth going and getting the platinum for it just absolutely sucked the next game is one that at first i did enjoy and it was a free ps plus game it was one of those indie games called laser league for the ps4 now again this game at first was fun and it was fun to play with friends but after the first couple weeks after it was free for PS Plus whenever you went on to get some of the trophies for online you could never connect in a server with anybody else other than if you were playing with friends it would just be you and your friends and a lot of those trophies if you're just playing with you and your friends versus some of the computers it never would actually let you do and get that trophy. It had to be playing online with actual players. So after the first couple weeks, it just totally crapped out. And that's why I put it on this list. The next game is one that I'm going to get a lot of hate for. And that is going to be Bloodborne. In my opinion, it is just a terrible game. The graphics, the concepts, the mechanics of the game, everything for me absolutely sucked. I didn't get too far into it because I just absolutely hated it. And there was a ton of other games that I would much rather play and I did play rather than this game. So in my opinion, I just hated it. I could never get into it. So the graphics and everything sucked in my opinion and that's why I put it on this list. The next game is a game that is again a stupid concept game and that is going to be I Am Bread. Who thought of a game where you're taking control of a slice of bread and you're moving it around a kitchen and various obstacles and different things like that? It's just so out there and so stupid that I had to put it on this list because it is just a very frustrating game. The only reason I played it was because, again, it was free for PS Plus, so I always give games a try. But this concept of the game was just absolutely terrible. The next game is one that hopefully some people will agree, and that is Carnival Games on the PlayStation 4. I remember playing the Carnival Games on the DS, where there was a whole bunch of different elements on it. The one on the PS4 just absolutely sucked. The mechanics sucked, and you just couldn't go very far into it, because you couldn't do a lot of the high scores and a lot of the high ticket games because it just absolutely sucks. So that's definitely why I put it on this list. And the next one is one that I recently tried to play and that is called Bio Mutants. It was free for PS Plus in December 2022. So again, I gave it a try and it just was not for me. It's basically like a, a 
apocalyptic game, but you're playing as like a raccoon type character and you get to design and create him something different, but nobody speaks English in the game other than subtitles and a lot of the monsters and a lot of the enemies, it's just a couple hits and they're dead. The concept of the game, the graphics, everything about it just really, I didn't enjoy playing it and that's why I put it on this list in my opinion. It's a terrible way to create an apocalyptic game where you're a character that is like a raccoon, but everything about the game just absolutely sucked. It didn't get very far into it. I think I got out of the first vaults, and it really felt like they're trying to make a really, really watered down Fallout game that is possibly kid friendly because I didn't see any gore or anything, but it just was a terrible concept of a game. So these are the games that in my opinion are the worst video games. Comment down below what are some of your worst ones. Is there some that are on my list that you would not consider as a terrible game? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.